Good afternoon. Today is Monday, August 16th. I wanted to pick up um, um, talking about my appointment and the Savella. So I didn't make it um, for my appointment um, because my grandson was sick. So I didn't, wasn't for sure if I was exposed to COVID. So I didn't make the appointment. But I did make the decision on not proceeding with the prescription Savella due to I weighed the balance of the side effects. And so due to the side effects, I decided that I'm not going to continue the Savella. Um, I haven't been feeling my best um, the past couple of days. I've been having the IBS symptoms. Um, it just hit me. I'm having, um, sorry, I just went blank. I've had the, basically, um, having the serious acid reflux that sits right here and it doesn't move. I've never had that before. This is the first time that I've ever had acid reflux this bad. And so it just sits here. It feels like something's sitting on my chest. So at first, um, it happened in the middle of my sleep. And I remember always um, people telling me, if you ever feel something sitting on your chest, it's possibly a heart attack. So I was asleep. I remember feeling, trying to feel around, um, trying to find medicine to help me see if it's an acid. Uh, so trying to find, um, feeling around to take something to see if it's an acid. Um, this is very uncomfortable. It woke me up out of my sleep. So um, I can't remember if I had found something, but it is, I still continue to feel the, that pressure. So in the morning when I woke up, I took my blood pressure. My blood pressure was low. It was um, 139. I mean, sorry, it's 131 over um, 139. Uh, 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 sorry, 131 over was it 39 or 139? It was it was low. The pulse was a little high, but that's because I had just washed my hair. So my blood pressure was normal, a little low. So I said, okay, so it's not a sign of having a heart attack. My blood pressure isn't high. So I'm clear on that. And um, so it was just is very uncomfortable, the pressure on my chest. So I'm thinking, what is this? It, it's very uncomfortable. So um, that feeling, that pressure, I, I couldn't shake it. It was just, it was there. So I, I tried to find an acid. I, I found, I took my, this IBS medicine, IBS guard, I took that, um, cause it has a little bit of peppermint. I found, I had a little bit of relief for a little while. A couple of hours later, it came back. And so I was so uncomfortable, so miserable. So um, I can't remember what I took, but I still had the pressure on my chest. Long story short, I end up finding Pepto Bismol, so I swigged some of it down. And when I swigged some of it down, I felt burning on my chest as it was going down. Um, I, fe I got a little bit of relief from that. And so um, later on, I forgot I hadn't taken my Tizanidine, which I normally take. So um, a couple days later, maybe the third day of, of having this pressure on my chest, I took my Tizanidine. So I hadn't taken it for three days. So when I took that, I finally had the release of the pressure on my chest. So I feel a little bit better now that I've, I've taken my Tizanidine with the um, Pepto-Bismol. But then I started having these stomach cramps where I'm rocking back and forth. I'm having stomach cramps. So I don't know what's going on. I, I'm going to call my... Um, I'm gonna call my um, gastro doctor today to talk to her about that 
the acid reflux pain because I have a hyenal hernia so I don't know if it has anything to do with that like I said I've never had this issue so anyone that have IBS that have that chronic acid reflux problem or may have a hyenal hernia if you can leave me a comment and explain if you have this problem explain to me what I'm going through I would be so grateful I would greatly appreciate it because I've never had this happen to me um, hopefully I didn't I wasn't having a heart attack the past couple of days I have no idea I have no earthly idea what's been going on with me so please if you have any idea, leave a comment. I would really be grateful. Um, also experiencing a lot of nasal drip. Um, I don't know if that's from my hypothyroidism. They took me off the medication. I asked my primary to run blood work on me again to see if my blood levels are, are funky. Um, because I'm having a nasal drip again. She said it doesn't have anything to do with your thyroid, but I don't know. I have a nasal drip a lot. So, um, that's with that. Um, I'm struggling with the sleeping. I keep telling them about, you know, the issues with the sleeping. Um, I take Seroquel at night. The extended release and then they gave me um, the I have the extended release and then the active release the 25 milligrams of the active release and then 100 milligrams of the extended release so I usually take that around 930 and sometimes I'll fall asleep sometimes I don't so I've been struggling with sleeping but all in all um, I we have legalized marijuana so sometimes I'll smoke and that'll help me get to sleep. But I think it's all, you know, the stress of losing my son and grieving, you know, and then with the IBS symptoms past couple of days is causing me, my sleep patterns to be off. Again, I have no idea. So I'm reaching out to my viewers and please, you know, subscribe to my channel click on the notification so you'll be notified when i have videos because I'm, I'm back so i will be recording videos and updating you on on my journey uh, my battle with fibromyalgia i also suffer from lupus chronic migraines i have um osteonecrosis i have um the a tumor in my brain irritable bowel syndrome I've had suffered from Lyme disease I um, uh, have a, a list of um, medical issues osteosynchrosis is in the knees is when from being on steroids for over a period of time from having fibromyalgia you lose your the bones in your knees the calcium in your knees start to deteriorate so you have um, bone on bone um, the tumor in my brain is where you have you lose fluid in the frontal the frontal your occipital so um, it's occipital in the back occipitals in the back so I apologize so your frontal lobes you lose fluid in your brain so it causes this dry so you're not getting the proper fluid to your brain so then it becomes a tumor and so oh gosh it becomes a, a, a tumor and the last time they checked it was small I go for a, a MRI and a CAT scan um, in a few weeks to check on that see if it's increased so I'll update you on that once I get the MRI and the scan done I have, as you know, I've had cervical surgery on my neck. I had back surgery done the last time I did the video. I informed you of that. I have to go back and have um, surgery on my neck. I am 
this close to becoming paralyzed. I, pardon me. This close to becoming paralyzed. I struggle with falling. My balance is off. I suffer from vertigo. I think I mentioned that in my last video. My balance is off because of my spine is all screwed up. Um, for someone at my age, I have advised if you want a job and you don't have to lift, do not lift. It is not worth you screwing up your spine. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. It's 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 not worth it. You hear me? If you do not have to lift on your job, do not lift. It's not worth it. It's not worth the money. It's not worth the medical. It is not worth it. The surgeries are scarring. You have scar tissue for the rest of your life and you will have back issues for the rest of your life. When you're driving, drive for yourself and the people on the road. You could be the best driver there is, but you have to look out for the people that are driving. Always be extra careful. When you're driving, look out for the other people who are driving on the road. People always think, oh, there's an 18-wheeler. I want him to hit me so I can sue. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth you getting into a car accident and your spine is damaged. It's not worth it. Your body is messed up for life. You will never be the same, ever. The money that you get and you win is never going to be enough. It's not going to make up for all the stuff that you're going to go through for the rest of your life. Trust me, I work in personal injury law. I work in workers' compensation law. I work in tort law. The money that you're rewarded will never, ever be enough for you. The compensation that you receive will never, ever be enough for you to make up for what you're going to go through for the rest of your life. Trust and believe me. For a sprained wrist, this wrist right here, just a sprained wrist, this wrist right here, how much money I was awarded 20 years ago doesn't even touch close to the issues I have with this wrist now, today. But 20 years ago, I was young and I was like, oh, this was a sprained wrist. No, I still had to continue typing 120 words per minute, typing, 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 and then reaching for numbers. Well, guess what? The spring rich wrist and constantly using the fingers and hands and lifting groceries and putting them in bags and pushing carts. You go grocery shopping and what have you. You're spraying and you're reusing that friction and you hurt your back and you're bending over and you're raising up and you're bending over and you're raising up you're constantly using that friction like using a wrench over years you put in wear and tear on your body you put in wear and tear on your body it does not make up for the money that you win because you have scar tissue you have scarring if you could see the scar that's on my back from the surgery it looks like I have two butt cracks it's ugly it's ugly and I'm a woman
did I think about, you know, ever getting hurt and having to require back surgery and have to have a scar down my back as a woman that's so ugly that it looks like I, I have a whole long butt crack. That's the color of this shirt. And look at the color of my skin. And then I have this scar on my neck. Some people think that I had um, um, thyroid surgery. And I have thyroid issues. So, and I have to have another neck surgery. And I have thyroid issues. You understand me? So, it's not worth you working for a job and someone asks you can you go move that cabinet like what happened with me i wasn't a mover why were they asking me to move i wasn't a mover i worked in administration i didn't work in moving i wasn't hired as a mover you understand me That was not my job title. So if your job title isn't lifting or moving, why are you lifting? If your job title isn't for you to chase after robbers, why are you risking your life and chasing after a robber? It's not worth it. So, in the event, um, I've already recorded for 17 minutes, and I wanted to talk about a couple of tips that I said I was going to talk about. So, for one thing, with fibromyalgia, um, some of gain weight, we get constipated from the medications that we we take. So, you could take organic coconut oil. The one I use is Organic Refined, and it says Happy Belly on it. I got it from Amazon. And you could take two tablespoons. You can actually look it up. I found it on the recipe on Pinterest. So it's two tablespoons of the refined organic coconut oil, and you put it in your coffee in the morning. You put it in your coffee, and you stir it up really well in your coffee, and you drink it, and it'll help you go. It also help you lose weight because it's helping you go and it will make you go so I'm gonna I'm warning you it's going to make you go now if you have IBS it may make you cramp a little bit so I would be prepared to be by a toilet I would be prepared to possibly have cramping I when I did it um, the first time I didn't have any cramping I didn't have to go um, uh, I think maybe the second or third time I did go and I did have a little bit of cramping so just be prepared to be by a toilet and be prepared to have you're going to have to go um, there's two tablespoons of the pure organic coconut oil and you also can use the coconut oil on your skin. I put it on my cheeks as a highlighter. And uh, it's, it's great. You can just look it up for other reasons to use it. So I wanted to tell you about the coconut oil. The olive oil. The olive oil you can use men and women. You can use, um, you can use it to fight against breast cancer women. And some men get breast cancer as well. You can also use it to lift sagging breasts. And men who are working out, who wants to tighten the chest muscles, you can also use it. What you do is you take the olive oil, put it in your hands, rub your hands together to get it nice and warm. And then you take it and massage it upward. Massage it upward. You do that every day and then you'll start to see results. You do the same thing to your buttocks, rubbing your hands really good. 
and you do the same motions. And you massage it really good into the skin. You know, really, really good and do the circular motions to get the blood circulating. Um, so that's for the breast. It helps for breast cancer. Also to help lift. Lift. Um, men and women both can use it. And for the buttocks. Now, um, the other thing is, is for the medication also can experience hair loss. So you can use, and men, you can use this in your beards. So you can use the Saw, S-A-W, Palmetto Oil, P-A-L-M-E-T-T-O, Palmetto Oil. You can get it off of Amazon. And you just put it, you know, in your hair or in your beard. Massage it really well on your beard. You rub your hands together and massage it into your beard for your hair. Again, massage it really good into your hair. The next thing you can use is rosemary oil. Pimenta oil said. Um, other oil I have is Well, this line here you can just purchase. It's called Curling Potions. You can use this any, any man, women, race, doesn't matter. You use this hair line. It's called Curling Potions. I'll put this in the description. And you can go online and just choose by the tab. Hair Grow, Men, Aboriginal. You just choose by the tab of what you're looking for. And you just purchase accordingly. Okay? So I'll put this in um, the description as well. All right, but the um, two oils that I mentioned, I purchased off of Amazon. These you can go on the website and purchase, and I'll put in the description a coupon code to use. All right, so that'll be it. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe and also click on the notifications. If you subscribe, I will be. Um, uploading videos more often and also you subscribe I will be offering um, um, discount codes for this product often so make sure you subscribe and I will be offering tips in my videos as well so I look forward to uploading more videos I look forward to you asking me plenty of questions because if you followed me in the past, you know that I'm an open book. I love you for watching and I look forward to coming out and talking to you again. And we will be doing some um, hangout videos live soon.